in my haste, I did not print out the agenda. So I don't, uh, do we have any faith that we, you think Bobby's showing up? <laughs> don't know. I haven't heard. Okay. I, I didn't hear either. Um, well, okay. All right. Um, everybody have a chance to look at and read the minutes from the last meeting. Yeah, make a motion we accept the minutes as written for the last meeting. Second. Okay. Take a roll call. We'll start with Tom. Yep. Fred. Hi. Dan. Hi. Jim. Hi. Me. Hi. Okay. We have a quorum. Very good. Those are good. Amy, did you get that? Uh-oh. She's muted. All right. She's muted. Okay. I did. I got it. All right. Good. <laughs> let's go to chat. Um, okay. Um, let's continue with um, the rest of the agenda. Brian? Yep. Uh, bring, bring us up to speed. Reserve fund transfers. Fiscal year... 20 closed on June 30th. Yep. So there are a couple operating accounts that have deficits and we usually address those and try to clean those up at the end of the fiscal year. So just want to go through them? Yep. And seeing you have to do a roll call vote, maybe it's better to just do one roll call vote. I agree. Let's do one roll call vote. If anyone has an issue with any one of these particular things, Prior to the vote, we can discuss it. Is that good? Yep. Okay. All right. First one is for a dollar. This is for the Franklin Tech. I I don't know why this wasn't caught, but it wasn't. So the count is a dollar in deficit. Um, next one, the Board of Health is in a deficit of $46.64. I went back and looked at uh, the account and the payroll and there was a payroll uh, it, it all comes from the same place essentially but one of the transfers one of the transfer station attendance payrolls was paid out of the board of health account instead of the solid waste account hmm. at the end of the day it comes from the same spot same uh, medicare 126.61 this one's always this one's always an estimate and it's based off of payroll um, but we get pretty close every year. And then this is the last one. Um, this is $850. This was for the assessors. And I think we had talked about this originally. There was some additional costs um, for transferring the assessor's database um, with a new PC. I'll withhold my comments on it, but in terms of whether I think it's good or not, but it was they had to upgrade the database and because it went from a new PC, there was an older version needed to upgrade to a new version. It's kind of highway robbery, but it's kind of is what it is. Um, and then the other one that was included in the email was, was for Tritown beach. Um, and this wasn't, was in deficit and it didn't seem like it should have been, um, so I went back through it this afternoon and I, I talked with the accountant and there was some um, FY19 payroll that should have came out of FY19 encumbered funds instead of the FY20 account. So that account, instead of being in deficit 200 something dollars, it'll be in the positive around $600. Oh. So we don't need a transfer on that one. So we don't need that. Say so just, uh, just if, if I could, Regarding the assessors, they have a current balance of 837. Uh, negative 837. Oh, okay. Oh. Negative. Okay. Yep. And right. then she has, she has, I think, two invoices for FY20 D transfers, which are five bucks a piece. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Let's take a roll call vote. Uh, do we have a motion to... Um, accept these transfers. I move we accept them. I'll second it. 
Okay, and let's go through the roll call again. Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. Dan? Aye. Jim? Aye. And myself? Aye. Okay. All righty. All right, Brian, back to you. Sure. So the question is, um, how are you guys comfortable signing these? Do you want me to email them and pass them around? You can sign in electronically. Some people have their signatures copied. Some people, I can put it out on a table outside the offices. You could stop by and sign it. For well, me, that would be the easiest thing. Because that would be the easiest for me. Yeah, that works. I agree. Okay. Stop by, have them out there, we'll sign them, and that's done. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Starting, they'll be on the table tomorrow? Yeah, I'll, I'll put a table out there, and I'll have them out there tomorrow morning. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Um, in terms of any – I have – we haven't heard anything from the state. Not a big surprise in terms of yeah. state aid. Um, in terms of the first two months, it, so July and August, they've told us that their their level funding state aid equal to last fiscal year for those two months. And then your guess is as good as mine as to mm. as to what happens. Yeah. Um, we have. We were awarded $140,000 in CARES Act money. That's from the federal government through the state. Um, right now, we've spent probably 30000 of that, a big chunk of that going to the school for remote learning. Yeah. But we still have um, the remaining balance of that for fiscal year 21. We've also applied. There was another grant that came out and. Dan, this is what you were alluding to before. Yeah. A portion of the CARES Act money came came through the state for fire and police, and, and we were eligible for fifty thousand dollars to apply for fifty thousand um, dollars in response costs. So, all both of these sources of funding need to be related to our response to um, the COVID nineteen pandemic. So, okay. an application was put in for. Um, message boards, PPE, so personal protective equipment, um, those types of things, which we would otherwise pay for out of our, likely pay for out of our CARES Act money. Um, okay. We don't know what costs are going to be when, when and if schools reopen, um, but we've been trying to, I've been trying to fend off people trying to get at the CARES Act money because I, until we know what those costs are, I don't, we don't really want to spend it all up front. Um, I don't know how much a deep clean of the school costs and I don't want to find out, but I suspect those costs could escalate quickly. So I, um, I know that uh, Darius Modesto put out a, uh, a 34 page handbook today um, regarding the, uh, the school year and I, I I just know little bits and pieces of it but one fact that really um, struck me was that when he surveyed parents 58 percent of those surveyed said that they would be sending their children to school um, I don't know how you look at that number um, only six percent said that they would definitely not um, so there's, there's a significant gap there and I, I don't know what that gap is, you know, remote learning, I guess is it, but, um, anyway, that's kind of what they're dealing with now. Um, so I don't know what that means for our finances, um, but it's just a little tidbit. Yeah. I've, I've been, I want to reach out once they submit their plans to the state to see what if they have any idea of what the needs will be and what that, what the cost will be. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know. Yep. Um, but. I do know that I, I think irregardless of, um, you know, um, grade level or um, school, I think a big chunk is going to be a remote learning experience. And that's why obviously all the kids are getting Chromebooks. So yeah. um, anyway, we'll see. We will see. Do you know if that's going to be posted online? Uh, boy, I hope so. I think it probably, I think it probably will be. Um, um, there's actually a meeting going on right now and um, con concerning that exact topic. And it's got about, I don't know, my wife was on it just to get some information. And um, Christ, there must have been 60 people on this thing. Everybody had a, had a picture about that big all around. And <laughs> you can hardly tell who was who. Um, but there were a ton of people on that call. Um, so I guess we'll find out more tomorrow or maybe next week. But anyway. That's all I know at this point. Um, but. All right, Brian. Brian, could you keep us up to date when you hear anything from the state? I mean, it doesn't have to be regularly, but like monthly. Yep. As far as you know, whether level funding for that month, you know, whenever you hear that those updates. Yeah, definitely. Say, did the state say that they were going to do a full year budget or were they going to do partial year? Um, they're starting with a partial, but they're supposed to pass. They're still supposed to pass a budget for the remainder of okay. 21. All right. Um, I've heard that in, I think, well, I believe I heard this. Who knows if I really did, but I think July is a big year for tax collections for the state. So I think they were waiting to see how that played out before mm. yeah. moving forward with anything for the, the rest of the year. So we'll see. Okay. What else you have for us? Um, I don't have anything else. Okay. Anyone want to raise any questions or issues or um Good. This will go down in record as the shortest meeting we ever had. Mm. Pretty darn good. Did you notice there were no selectmen on here? Mm. Oh, son of a gun. They Is go, there, a correlation, there a correlation here? We go away after town meeting. <laughs> okay. Very good. Um, motion to good adjourn. Turn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. You. We'll see you at the next one. Um, have a good week, weekend right. coming up. All right, see ya. Yeah.